follow the straight passage to the monument. You can see that the monument is surrounded by a huge fountain pool. The lotus represents rebirth and the ideology of the ancient Egyptians. And water is the source of life. The fusion of water and lotus represents the endless cycle of life. Unfortunately, the pool is not filled with water now. Go up the steps and come to the center of the five lotus petals. Looking up, you can see the gear-shaped viewing platform hanging in the air by the five towering petals. Although it was made by Soviet architects, the monument still retains the characteristics of the perfect fusion of the solemnity and gracefulness of ancient Egyptian art. It is awe-inspiring, yet elegant. If architecture is a frozen epic, then the relief on each petal is a beautiful chapter depicting the different aspects of life of the Egyptian people. The first petal lies in front of the monument entrance, IT contains from the top a Quran verse, we created all life with water. Under the verses of the Quran, there are geometric reliefs of hands praying to God for rain, symbolizing Egypt and the Soviet Union respectively. The relief above the hands shows God's response to the prayer. The rain begins to fall and flows into the Nile between the hands. On the right side of the petals, there are portraits and quotes of the late Egyptian presidents Gamal Abdul Nasser and Mohammed Anwar El Sadat, as well as the national emblem of the United Arab Republic. On the left side of the petals are engraved Russian translations of quotes from the two presidents and the Soviet Union emblem. The second petal is on the east side of the first petal. The geometric relief above shows the scene of a hydro-driven turbine generating electricity from a high-dam hydroelectric plant. Depicted on the left are two workers, a gear, and sparks from welding operations. It symbolizes the prosperity of industry. The relief on the third pedal depicts a teacher and student pointing to the alphabet. Behind them is a library with various books. It symbolizes the prosperity of education. The relief on the fourth pedal shows a woman from the Nubian region of Egypt pointing at a Nubian handcraft disc. The right hand holds a lotus flower, a symbol of Upper Egypt, and a geometric arabesque relief, a symbol of Egyptian Islamic art and culture. If you look closely, the decoration on the plate is a unique combination of Islamic arabesque and lotus flowers. The relief on the left of the third petal and the relief on the right of the fourth petal form a combined picture. A man and his pregnant wife look at each other affectionately in the sun, which symbolizes the expectation of new life. The fifth pedal is located on the west side of the first pedal, where the small elevator leading to the 46-meter high viewing platform is installed. The relief on the right side of the elevator door depicts a warm family. A wife, dressed in traditional Egyptian dress, hands a loaf of wheat to her husband, while their youngest son points to an ear of wheat. This symbolizes the agricultural development formed by the addition of irrigated agricultural land due to the contribution of the high dam. The relief to the left of the elevator door depicts the river flowing downstream from the dam, irrigating all of Egypt's agricultural areas. The relief in the middle depicts rhombus-shaped water droplets falling on huge ears of wheat, symbolizing the virtuous cycle of irrigation formed by the Nile River water and rainfall and the sustainable development of agriculture. They are works of art that applied Egyptian elements and were influenced by Soviet constructivism and the Space Age. Constructivism in the Soviet Union was born after the Socialist Revolution, and it is a manifestation of socialist idealism. At that time people were looking for a new artistic order. The goal was to eliminate traditional artistic influences and replace them with construction. On the basis of inheriting the profound and grand aesthetic style of the Soviet Union, it simplified all content to the most basic level and still the aesthetic model of the new socialist utopia advocating ideals to the public and expressed the people's desire to create history as well as to make achievements in that period. The role of architecture in human history is like a biological specimen in the historical strata. A great building, like a majestic mountain, is the result of the accumulation of ideology over a long period of time, and it is an eternal monument of time. Even if the times change, as long as the buildings still exist, no matter in the form of complete or incomplete or relics, they are silently telling the passers-by about the past that happened on this land.